humbling for me to be here. I'm a, I'm a child of Harlem. My mother used to work in this building. Um, this is a, a big moment. Um, and just you know, giving lots of honor and respect to the exonerated Fox, all their leadership and their sacrifice. As we look back tonight and, and, and watch all that they went through and how they emerged as strong black men, um, it's overwhelming. Uh, and and want to pause as we look back and also think about all the other injustices that we don't know about. Uh, because you know, we spent a lot of time over the summer of the last few years talking about reopening the Fairstein cases. And they're still not open. And Cy Vance has said pretty flatly and repeatedly that he's not going to reopen them. So we now need to go to the next step. Give it to him. Well, I, I certainly agree with that. I'm running for district attorney, so I certainly agree with that. But that's two years off. That's not till June 2021. So what we need to do is the governor has the power to appoint a special prosecutor. Okay. I was the special prosecutor oh. for uh, uh, civilian deaths caused by police officers when I was in the attorney general's office. Oh, the governor can tomorrow, if he wants, appoint a special prosecutor to remove side vans for the purpose of reopening Linda Fairstein's cases. So my call tonight as we watch uh, this great film and look back and honor the Exonerated Five is that tomorrow our call to action is to push for a special prosecutor yes. to reopen the cases and figure out how many other injustices have gone uncalled for exactly. and how many other people right. are sitting, waiting for their story to be told. Yes. So thank you for giving me this moment. I appreciate it. Yes. Respect. Yes. God bless. Yes.